Suge. We could talk about Suge. Um, I was really trying to get on at the New Yorker. So I told them, like, let's do a story on Dick Griffey. For those who don't know, Dick Griffey is a big record label owner from like the 70s, early 80s. And he had mentored Suge, but he was, he was suing Suge. So I'm hanging out with Dick for like, you know, two, three weeks. I'm like, you know, oh, let's go see Suge. So I'm like, it'd be so great for the story. Let's go hang out with Suge. And he's finally like, all right, you want to go see Suge? All right, fine. Let's go see Suge. 10, 11 o'clock at night, we go out to death row. We go into Suge's office, uh, you know, and Suge's giving us a little tour. Dick leaves, so I start interviewing Suge, and I'm interviewing him about Dick Griffey. We go for about 40 minutes on just the rise of Dick and their relationship and the mentoring, and Dick was big on owning your masters and not having a slave mentality, and he had he had incepted Suge with that. So, you know, I'm... Feeling myself, we're vibing, everything is good. And so I'm like, you know, what's up with the lawsuit? And Shug says, uh, what are you talking about? And everything changed. His whole mood changed, the whole room seemed to change. And now he's clearly upset. And I'm like, you know, it's cool. And I like grab my tape recorder and he's like, nah, sit there. And I'm like, oh, what is this about to be? So then he goes to the door. There's only one door out of there. And he calls his man. And he just looks like he's just ready to go beat somebody's ass. And he just kill anybody. I'm like, I am not ready for any of this action. Suge is, you know, saying shit. He won't come in here talking about lawsuits. And the young thug is like, let me at him. And, but he was just like, nah, I'm, I'm just scaring him. I'm not telling you to go kill him. But I'm... So the, the young thug is waved off. So I go to grab the tape recorder again and walk out. And he goes, where are you going? Sit down. And I'm like, fuck, we're not done. And he goes, rewind the tape to the beginning. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Now I'm going to lose my interview. And I came here for nothing. And then he starts to give me the same interview again. But he's answering f the same questions and giving the same answers for 40 minutes in order, which is very, very hard to do. Uh, most people could not do that. And then when we got to the part where I asked him about the, the lawsuit, he was like, all right, shut the tape recorder off. All right, you got your interview, get out of here. And I'm like, Dick, let's go, we're, we're out of here. I didn't, I didn't get hit and I got the interview.